here or here. Um, it is a day late, so I'm a little worried about it, but we should see. You just sit there. I'm like so scared of just cutting open one of like the leaves. Um, so this is my first ever shipping order that I've gotten. Um, it's always like a little scary, but okay. Ooh, look at the packaging. I have, this is so cool. Ah, oh my God, I'm so excited, okay. <laughs> I believe is um it's a black velvet alocasia I'm pretty sure but oh <laughs> I'm like so excited okay. okay okay this is the Dungeon Micron um this one I believe is just cuttings um so it's like a propagation station I'm pretty sure oh my gosh it's so cute <laughs> Sweethearts, um, maybe like a, I don't know, I can't remember what they're called, but holy crap, oh, it's so cute! Oh, yay! Okay, oh, I got it from the new Plant Co. They're also having an Earth Day sale, so I got this for $8, down from $16, which is still a steal. And then, this was $10, but it's for two, and I feel like at my local plant shop, they sell them for one for $10. I'm like, oh, two for ten. And free shipping, which is always a bonus. Um, this guy was my most expensive. Um, I'm pretty sure he was like twenty. Still, no bad, he's so cute. <laughs> uh, so and then I also have another plant shipment coming in hopefully soon. It's for a bunch of succulents, but she was running behind. But oh my gosh, for being Oh, I don't even know how to do this. Being two days late. Look how freaking so good. Like barely any yellowing on these ones. So the Plant Co, once you order the Mykins within their Etsy listing, they kind of had the explanation on what to do. And that's why they give you this large Ziploc bag um, to create the humidity that they need to propagate. Um, if I were to do this over again, I definitely would not use this bag or this method. And I would almost just take them out of the soil and put them in water um, just to keep an eye on them. As you will see in the future update that a lot of the micans did not survive, um, but here I am. I just spray the inside of the bag to create um, the humidity, which I don't think I should have done as well. I think they did have that on the instructions, but I think I did too much. And then I left for a week leaving it in that super damp environment and it just was not happy. I put it in my north facing window, ignore my turtle tank, it's getting cleaned out right now. Um, but I just left it there for a couple weeks and then a little update on everything. Here's my black velvet alocasia doing well and my sweetheart Hoya. Okay, so it is September 13th. It's been a hot minute since I did the mic and propagation i did that just a few days after um earth day well after i arrived and i ordered on earth day um so here are the mic in now um they are a little fuller than the propagation box i did have three of them die and only two left over um this is one of the original leaves and there was one other one that's the original leaf other than that though they all died. Um, I kept them in that humidity box bag way too long. And they just molded over. But yeah, so that one just, just kept in my north, no, east facing window, I think. It's doing just fine. I traded for a four inch pot. I traded a four inch pot of Brantianum for that. And that's been doing just fine ever since. I'm 
kind of wish I just from the get-go didn't buy a propagation box that's what messed it up yeah that's an update okay I know that was quite a long unboxing but I just wanted to give you guys an update of the Mikans as it is a little worrying sometimes to get um just cuttings especially in dirt already ready to be propagated and then just a new method of doing so I had never done the Ziploc bag technique before I definitely have learned a few tricks along the way I definitely have other ways to keep humidity up now rather than just the Ziploc bag but definitely if you are to keep on top of it I think that's a great option and I definitely love um, the new plant co I've gotten quite a few orders from them just because their plants are so well um, taken care of and their delivery is just absolutely astounding that the green cover is within everything that they ship out so the plant gets to you in great condition um, I will link them down below if you guys want to check them out obviously you don't need to buy any plants if you don't want to but it's a great source and I think they're really safe to buy from especially being on Etsy and then just a larger company um yeah I hope you guys are doing great and your day continues to be awesome don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep seeing more planty content oh don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep seeing more planty content <laughs>